Professor Jin Kuan Yu from the Scripps Institute in San Diego is one of our key plenary speakers and he joins me now. Welcome. Thank you. Can we just start by talking about your area of research and some of the key applications in it? Yeah. On the big scheme, uh, I belong to synthetic chemistry. Basically, we're trying to learn how to better make molecules for medicine, for perfume, for material science. And as you know, to make a molecule, you have to uh, break the bond and move the atoms around. It's a little bit like uh, you know, the builder, you move bricks around to build a house, but we're moving the atoms around to build a molecule. And you can imagine it's just as sophisticated. How do you control where the atoms go and how do you form a better molecules? As you say, there are some incredibly important potential applications in your work. Yes. From your career so far, what are you most proud of? Yes, as you can imagine, we have been learning how to make uh, these molecules for 100 years, uh, mankind. And there are many, many very innovative reaction, powerful reaction that has been invented to break a bond and make a, make a new molecules. But one of the bonds that we have not been able to do really well is CH bond. And CH bond is a carbon hydrogen bond, they're sharing uh, electron pair and they shake hand very tightly so you can't separate them. And, and that is, I think, nature designed by so because so they have the stability to maintain our life because protein, DNA, you all have the carbon hydrogen bond. And if they are not stable, then you would melt when you go to sunshine or you go to beach, right? So it's important on one hand, the nature designed the CH bond to be very strong. But when the mankind then start to manipulate, to modify the molecule, then you are stuck because the carbon hydrogen bond is too strong. And that means we are, you know, a lot of opportunities we cannot take advantage of. So, so it's very important that in the last 50 years, I think, a tremendous effort have been focused. How do we break the CG bond and make a new bond out of it so we can create molecules in a completely transformative new way? But that's very hard because and there are so many challenges. And I have been focused on two specific challenges probably are the most interesting, at least to me. And one is when you break that, at the same time on the tetrahedral carbon, how do you desymmetrize them and control the chirality to make a chiral molecule? As you know, life and everything is about chirality. So if you have a tetrahedral carbon, it's very hard to recognize the break the bond and still control the chirality. That's one challenge that so far we have been uh, successful actually, finally, you know? And then another challenge is when the CH bond is far away from a function group. So the distance is a big problem. When it's far away, and there was a dream by, by the very famous late professor at Breslau. It's a big dream of the century, maybe. How do you break a remote CH bond, so called? And I think we probably are the first to really develop a systematic approach to break those CH bond remote and control the regional selectivity. These are the two uh, topics I will be talking about today. Exactly, I was about to ask you, though, yes. those will be the focus of, of your plenary time. talk today. Yes. And what have you enjoyed about UCAMS? I know it's your first time here. At a... oh, but uh, it's great to be, uh, actually I was in Cambridge for 10 years, but I never had a chance to visit Liverpool, uh, because I, I, of course I know Liverpool for the soccer team. But, so it's great to there be are here. Two. There are two. You have that's, to be very careful. There right. are two soccer teams. That's in true. Liverpool. That's <laughs> true. But uh, yeah, it's great to be here, and you know, I, there, uh, it's great to meet a lot of friends from uh, Cambridge. Of course, I saw their talks, and but I think particularly I, I'm uh, very intrigued by many talks by the young generation from the European, which I don't usually get a chance to see them. So it's great to, to see to see what they are doing, exciting chemistry. It's lovely to talk to you, and I look forward to your plenary talk this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.